ONCE provides worry-free connectivity services for IoT. Thus, the ONCE lifetime fee includes all necessary features to connect your IoT device. There are no additional or hidden costs in order to guarantee maximum price transparency. It is common standard to connect IoT devices via a VPN connection. That's why we included the VPN service within the ONCE lifetime fee at no extra cost. It allows you to establish a secure data transfer between the ONCE network and the customer's server by default. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up an open VPN connection. To set up an open VPN connection on your system, the open VPN client needs to be installed on the server to which the data of the device shall be transmitted. Therefore, go to openvpn.net and install the OpenVPN software on your server. Make sure to choose the version that fits your OS. Please note that the steps of the setup process may differ depending on the operating system. In the following, we will show you an example of the installation steps for a Windows environment. Therefore, select the Windows installer. Follow the instructions to complete the installation process. To avoid additional configuration work, ONCE provides you with a predefined configuration file that can be downloaded in the ONCE customer portal. Select the Configuration tab in your customer area and select the configuration file to download. Store it in the configuration folder of your OpenVPN installation, following the file path Program Files OpenVPN Config. Then return to the customer portal and download the credentials.txt file and save the file in the config folder of the OpenVPN application on your server as well. Now you can start the connection in your OpenVPN GUI application by right-clicking the OpenVPN symbol in your toolbar and choosing the field Connect. The newly opened window will indicate if the connection has been successfully established. To monitor your OpenVPN connection, you can open a log file of your last session. Therefore, follow the file path Program Files backslash OpenVPN backslash log and open the client.txt file. The following test environment shows how to check on a Linux server if the OpenVPN connection has successfully been established. Two Raspberry Pis, called Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi 3, are used to simulate the data receiving application server and the SIM carrying IoT device. The following steps show how to check that the OpenVPN connection has been successfully established. The Raspberry Pi 2 as data receiving application server establishes the OpenVPN connection. With sudo cat forward slash var forward slash log forward slash OpenVPN underscore once dot log, you can open the log file of the test. The IP address of the OpenVPN client is visible in the last section of the log file. In this example, 10.64.71.xx and will be static for your VPN connection. Type in ifconfig and search for ton0 to obtain more detailed connection information. The Raspberry Pi 3, in this case a 3G USB surf stick, Huawei E173, is in this test environment the SIM carrying device. To get the default configuration of your device, run sudo wv dialconf first. Then set the once APN and save this configuration with a name of your choice. In this test environment, we've named the config file with once. Start the connection by running the command $sudo wv dial once and select the correct directory. In this case, forward slash tmp forward slash 3g underscore once dot log 2 greater than ampersand 1. In the log file, you can now see the IP address of the device. Send a ping to verify that the direct connection to the application server through the OpenVPN tunnel is working. After having established and tested the OpenVPN connection, you may terminate the connection with sudo kill all wv dial. 